Hey guys, what's up? So, welcome to this year's 153rd scale uh, fleet update video. Um, so this year, we've got quite a few buses to look at. Uh, I did my count before I started filming, and there are 52 buses to be exact. So, this year I put everything... Usually I put them in an order of number. Uh, this year I went ahead and just put them in order of what models they are. So, a lot of these I've had, um, and there's really not much to talk about, but there are a few that are recent additions, uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. The first one here is 30. Um, I've had 30 for some time now, so it's just your uh, basic CE model with the 2014 model year logos and uh, Navistar on the back bumper. Uh, the next one is 31. Uh, 31 is technically like a 12, like a 2012, 2013 model year bus, um, but I've got it modeled as a 2010, and I've just never changed it, so, you know, that's an inaccuracy, but it is what it is. Um, nothing's really changed on 31 since the last video. Uh, the next bus is 32. I've had 32 uh, for the last few updates, so nothing's really changed with 32. Next one is 37. Uh, that's an ICBE model with the um, uh, coin bank, which is not a very common version to find, uh, but there it is. So the next bus is 38. Uh, 38 is interesting because I actually had this model once upon a time. Uh, it used to be my old bus 182, um, and then I sent it to Adam, and Adam had it for, I don't even know how long he had it, but he had it for a while, and I just recently got it back, so I'll go ahead and show it to you. Uh, this is a 2005 up to 2011 model year uh, logoed bus, uh, so you can see 38, it's got the black wheels, which it had that when I had gotten it originally before I sent it to Adam. Uh, American Transportation Service. The owner that had it before I had it put a little uh, jewel on there to simulate a strobe light. Um, there's the uh, back end of it. So nothing too special with the actual specking of this bus. Uh, we got 38 and then the asset number you can see there that it actually shows where this bus used to be, uh, bus 182. And it looks like I've got this modeled as a 2009 um, American Transportation Service. And, um, yeah, that's, uh, bus 38. The next bus is bus 50, which, uh, last year's video is the first year it was missing its one of its mirrors. I've got the mirror. Um, I don't think there's a way for me to actually glue it back on because it doesn't want to stand up on its own. So that's kind of, kind of sucks, but, you know, stuff happens, so it is what it is. Uh, next bus is 65. 65 is the bus that's got the uh, movable uh, cross arm, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, it's also got a black hood, and nothing's changed on this one, so there's really nothing to show. Uh, the next bus is bus 90. That's my second BE. Um, I've had this one for quite some time, so it's been in, I think, most of the 1 to 53rd scale updates. Uh, the next bus we got here is the next bus we got here is bus 97. So this is one of the buses that models a real life bus, and this models the uh, 2015 uh, CE that I rode in school. Um, it's got the ID number and 97, and of course it actually says Lebanon City Schools on it. And um, yeah, uh, this next bus here is actually a bus that I bought recently. So it's not uh, labeled in any way. It's the one I did an unboxing on. So it's it's blank. Uh, there's nothing on it. And that's mainly because it came without its entrance door. And I'm still trying to decide what I want to do with that. Like if I'm going to try to take an entrance door from another CE. Or if I'm going to leave it how it is. Or if I'm going to sell it. So I haven't decided yet. So I thought I'd just go ahead and include it in this video because, you know, why not? Uh, the next bus is my very first CE model and has been in all the videos, uh, bus 32. So 32 has definitely seen some better days. Uh, nothing has changed with it. I had tried taking its door for the uh, CE I just showed you, 
but I could not get the first screw on the bottom to uh, unscrew and I didn't want to break the uh, bottom of the bus just to get the door so yeah that's 32 and uh, you I, I know there is another CE numbered 32 um, and I did that mainly because I wanted a bus that was in good condition um, to have that number because for a while uh, years ago I had a 32 that was a C2 and I don't think that ever showed up in any videos if I remember correctly because I think I got rid of it before I had a video of it but anyways um, I wanted that number to be a C2 or I wanted that number to be a CE because RCE is a 32 and when I got this one when it was new back in 2012 I was basing it off of our bus 32 um, so yeah Okay, so moving on, we're going to look at the uh, Siku FS65s. Um, so I got a few more than I did than I had last year. Uh, the first bus is 19. Um, I've had 19 for a few years, so that's been in at least two or three uh, fleet updates. Uh, nothing has really changed with 19. Um, now, the next one is what I like to call an Adam Ross special. Uh, Adam likes to modify his buses to a point that it you know it works for him i'm not saying that you shouldn't modify your models you do what you want to do with your models they're your models but um he does a little bit more than i personally would do uh you can see he painted the engine painted the interior with uh, blue seats gave the warning lights the uh, black treatment which it, it looks good i'm not gonna lie but you know he just he gave it more features than i personally like to do um, but everybody's different when it comes to their models, so there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so I got this one. This one is 26. Now, I know, I'm trying to remember, I think last year I still had the uh, C2 numbered 26. Um, but I sold that and uh, went ahead and replaced the number with this FS65. You'll see he did the taillights and all kinds of stuff back there. Um, but yeah, this is the new 26. You, you'll notice that a lot of these, uh, buses that I, like, sold get replaced with buses that are older than them. And it's like, ATS logic is replace a new bus with an old bus. But, anyways. Um, the next bus is bus 29. Now, 29 I've had for... Oh, let's see. I got 29 back in 2014. So I've had this bus for quite a while. Um... So, this bus is retired, um, replaced with a C2 model, um, but you can see it's got things blacked out. Now, this on the side here where my finger is, that's electrical tape. This is electrical tape. So, there's no actual um, Sharpie on the bus, like this is on the label. Um, I've got the rear door somewhere, but it, it fell out and I have to find it. Um, so, you know, if I really wanted to, I could fix this bus back up and put it back into service. Um, but, eh, I don't really feel the need. So, right now, it's just an out-of-service bus. Um, the next bus is a new addition. So, this is, uh, 192. I have a 191, and that's a C2. We'll get to that when we get to the C2s. Um, this one I got off of eBay for a pretty good deal. And it, it's got some paint damage so that's why the hood is repaint or not repainted but it's it's got sharpie detailing on it and i tried something else or i tried something out with this hood that i haven't done on any of my other black hood buses and i took the black uh paint we'll call it down to the edge because i've seen this on fs 65s and i think it looks good um but you'll see it's also got an id number 11269 and then uh, something I did kind of different on this one we've got a number above the driver's window and also a number above the entrance door but you can see it says ATA ink right here instead of um, like between the first and second rub rail uh, you can see 01192 uh, stop state law on the back and then ATA ink 192 and then 192 above the door. These doors are kind of, they've seen better days. Um, so that's 192. Uh, we also have the, uh, we also have the roof number up there. But um, yeah, that's 192. Now 29 I've had for, 
Oh, let's see. I got 29 back in 2014, so I've had this bus for quite a while. Um, so this bus is retired, um, replaced with a C2 model. Um, but you can see it's got things blacked out. Now, this on the side here where my finger is, that's electrical tape. This is electrical tape. So there's no actual um, Sharpie on the bus. Like, this is on the label. Um, I've got the rear door somewhere, but it, it fell out, and I have to find it. Um, so, you know, if I really wanted to, I could fix this bus back up and put it back into service. Um, but... Eh, I don't really feel the need, so right now it's just an out-of-service bus. Um, the next bus is a new addition, so this is a uh, 192. I have a 191, and that's a C2. We'll get to that when we get to the C2s. Um, this one I got off of eBay for a pretty good deal, and it, it's got some paint damage, so that's why the hood is repaint or not repainted, but it's it's got Sharpie detailing on it. And I tried something else, or I tried something out with this hood that I haven't done on any of my other black hood buses. And I took the black uh, paint, we'll call it, down to the edge. Because I've seen this on FS65s and I think it looks good. Um, but you'll see it's also got an ID number. 112.69. And then... Uh, And then uh, something I did kind of different on this one, we've got a number above the driver's window and also a number above the entrance door. But you can see it says ATA Inc. right here instead of um, like between the first and second rub rail. Uh, you can see 01192, uh, stop state law on the back, and then ATA Inc. 192, and then 192 above the door. These doors are kind of, they've seen better days. Um, so that's 192. Uh, we also have the, uh, we also have the roof number up there. But um, yeah, that's 192. All right, so now we've got the uh, Real Toy FS65s. Uh, so the first bus is bus 14. Um, this one I've had for a little bit. And this one has uh, custom black wheels and a custom white roof. Um, so nothing has changed with this bus since the last update. Uh, the next bus here is 18. So 18 is another Adam Ross special. Um, this bus actually replaced a HDX that I had modeled as a 2020. Uh, so I sold that off probably later last year. Um, and I refilled that number with this bus when I got it. So 18 really doesn't have anything special on it. Um, with this bus, I left the Board of Education lettering on it, since I don't have any of them that actually say that. Um, you got 18, 18, 18, uh, the roof number, and then, I don't think, yeah, this one just says stop. Uh, you got the warning light paint, which actually doesn't look too bad. You got little reverse lights back there, which, that's actually a pretty nice effect. I kind of like that. Um... And then Board of Education again, and then 18. So this one doesn't really have anything special on it. Um, it doesn't have like a year, a model year number designation or like an asset number or anything. Um, just because that's how I modeled it. So, uh, yeah, that's 18. Uh, the next bus is 35. I can't remember if this was in the last update, but um, this is basically just an FS65 uh, nothing too special. Um, it's got the black interior, which I believe 18 does as well. But most of them have like a dark gray interior. But this one has black interior. And the roof hatches are not painted silver. Um, so that's like, you know, a variation between the two models. Um, but yeah, that's 35. Nothing too special with it, just in case I didn't have it last year. I can't remember. It just says uh, American Transportation Service. And, um, 0635, because I modeled it as a 2006. And then there's the back. So, yeah, nothing special. Next bus is 121. So, I've had 121 for a while as well. Um, this is my bus that's got the black grill and then the, uh, two stop signs. So, nothing has changed with it, but, you know, there it is.
All right, so now we're going to move on to, like, the uh, generic Bluebird 3800s and the, um, little, the, the, those right there. Um, so, first bus we got here is bus 2. Um, I had two last update, but this is basically a bus modeled after Lebanon's old 2. Uh, this was something Adam did for me as a part of a, um, Christmas or birthday present. I honestly don't remember which one it was, but... Yeah, there it is. Uh, next one is 15. I've had 15 for quite a while as well. Um, this one is a uh, quote-unquote lift bus. And it's got the uh, international branding, which is pretty cool. And this is one of the few buses to have an ID number. Uh, next bus here is 21. Uh, 21 is just your, your basic American Transportation Service bus with nothing special on it. Um, and I know that one was in last year's video. So there's 21. Um, next bus, or the next two buses, we'll say, we'll talk about together. The next two buses are 36 and 41. So these are modeled after the two uh, Bluebird Internationals that I rode when I was in school. Um, this is 36 and that's 41. So basically, you know, they're modeled as well as I could to ours. Um... You know, just just for my own purposes, whatever. Um, with the ID numbers and everything on them. Uh, these, you know, the one thing, the real buses didn't have the uh, two-piece style rims. Um, but that's okay. These models uh, serve their purpose for me. Um, moving on to the next bus, we've got 122, which is just a basic um, ATS bus where it's got the... American Transportation Service and uh, the numbering and stop on the back. Same thing goes for 123. 124 here, I gave a white roof and it is a simulated lift bus. Um, 246 is a uh, out of service bus that's just literally modeled as an out of service bus. It's got black fenders because I guess I just felt like giving it black fenders. Um, this is the cheaper, the knockoff of that, and that's $24.50. It's not really, it was never actually in service. It's just something Adam gave me years ago, and I decided to model it after a uh, out-of-service bus. There's a 524, which is that transit-style bus. Um, and then there's, this is a 9853, which that one I haven't done anything with because it's my only one that's actually got all of its lettering and original stuff on it so i thought i'd just leave it how it is um so i know last year was its first video that it appeared in and that one's actually got the uh, metal entrance door versus a plastic entrance door like 524. all right so now we're going to move on to c2s so this year we got a few changes within the c2s and a few additions and and just some stuff to talk about um so the first bus is 20, and that's the bus that's like 20-20. Um, nothing's changed with it, but, you know, it's still here. Um, I bought, back in 2020, there was like a listing on eBay of seven C2 models, and I bought those, and then I, so I sold at least one, I sold one to Adam, so then I had the six, and I modeled six of them after, you know, like, I think it was 20, 26, 27, 28, and then 29, and then 191. So, I've sold a few of those. I don't have as many as I used to have. So, I think now I'm just down to 20, 29, and 191. Because I sold um, 26, 27, and 28. Um, but that's 20. Uh, that is 22, which is one of my first C2s. Um, it's modeled after a 2013 C2. Uh, and you can see that I modified it with some warning light paint with a Sharpie. Uh, it's also got a bumper number, which is one of two buses to actually have that. 65 was the other one. Um, nothing has changed with it, but I've almost had that bus. Uh, next January, I will have had that bus and the HDX23 for 10 years, which is weird. Um, but yeah. The next bus here is uh, 29. That's the bus that replaced the um, Siku FS65. Um, 
that was in the last year's video, so nothing special there. Uh, next bus here is 33. I've had 33 for a while. Um, nothing special with that. Um, you know, it's just 33. It's modeled after a 2018. Uh, next bus here is 39. 39 is a new addition. So I came to the conclusion of the number 39 for that bus because uh, I'm, like, working my way up. Like, the highest number, I went 37, 38, and now that's 39. Um, so I have the numbers 14 through 39 technically filled. Um, I know you're, you're probably thinking, where's 27 and 28? We'll get to those in a second. Um, but 39, just your, your normal specs. Um... American Transportation Service. Um, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I modeled this bus as a 2022, and I'll tell you why here in a second. Uh, but stop, 39. Yeah, see, you can see I numbered it as a 22, and I put the number here instead of here, which I'm pretty sure is the same thing I did with 29. Um, you can see on 29, I put the number there, too. Uh, but anyways, I modeled this as a 2022 since it has the the body not the square body so like the the body that is the newer style model um or the second release you can call it it has that but it also has the black grill and thomas recently started offering black grills on their buses so i modeled this after a 22 uh but yeah that's 39 nothing too special um the next bus is kind of like 38 it's got an interesting little story here um, this is 151. I used to have 151, uh, years ago. I would say this was probably back in 14 or 15 that I had this bus and then I traded it to a friend and I just recently got it back. So I got this bus from somebody else and it had a few things on it that I kind of liked. Um, but you'll notice, I mean, it's, it's a little rough. It's got some paint missing um i redid the lettering since the original lettering i had on it was too small and just old um so this one is modeled after a 2014 um the original owner put battery on it i liked it so i left it um they also kind of gave it warning light paint which doesn't look too bad uh 151 and then there's the number again, American Transportation Service. And then uh, 151 on the back and the warning light paint again. So I actually did end up renumbering another bus, 151, uh, one of my vision banks. And it's also technically an American Transportation Service bus. Um, but I haven't really gone through the effort of finding it to renumber it because it doesn't really matter to me at this point. Um, because I have multiple buses that have the same number, you know. Uh, when I was younger, I probably wouldn't have done that as much. But now it's like they're in different scales, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, but yeah, there you have it. That's uh, 151. Uh, the next bus is uh, 191. And this is where I got 192 from. I numbered it within that same... Uh, numbering series i used 191 here for the basis of 192 um this bus also says ata inc just like 192 does this one just says warren county on it versus 192 not saying warren county um but this c2 i mean it's got id number uh black hood i don't think it's got anything special on this side it's got its asset number on it um, and then there's the uh, back of it, but yeah, I wanted to show that since I showed you uh, 192. But I've had 191 uh, for the last two updates, so uh, nothing new there. Okay, so these two C2s are not numbered or lettered yet, uh, but they are going to become 27 and 28. So this bus is going to become 27. Um, it needs some paint work, as you can see. I'm going to tape this off and repaint it to where the, there's not black paint on the roof. Um, but for the most part, it's not in too bad a shape. just needs a little bit of paint work. This is one of the uh, square bodies uh, from one of the first release models. But this bus is going to become 27. Um, I'm not sure what model year I'm going to make it. It's probably going to be like an 07 or an 08. Um, but I guess you'll find out in the next bus update, or 153rd scale update next year. 
Uh, this bus is uh, going to be 28. Now, this bus also needs some uh, paint work and stuff like that. And I don't know what model year this is going to be, but it's going to end up being something. Um, and I just want to include these two models since they are going to end up becoming something, but they're just not... They're just not ready. Like, they don't have their lettering and they don't have their numbering yet because I need to do a little bit of work to them. Alright, so the next bus is bus 68. And this bus, I loosely, like, I modeled it after our old 68, but it also has school bus heritage on it. Um, so, there's that. Uh, I've had this bus for a while, so it's been in quite a few updates. Um, at one time, this bus was numbered just 8. But I don't think I ever did a video on it. Because um, that was that was years ago, like when I first got it. Uh, and this is one of the Ertl buses that's not a bank. Like, it's actually got an interior. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, moving on, we're going to get into the transits. So, this is 16, or 2016, if you want to do the model year. Not, not, not... It's not a 2016, it's 20-16, I mean... But, um, that one I've, I've had, so it's, you know, nothing special. Um, and then there's, we've got 17, which is also one of the 2020 model year, uh, HDXs I've got. Um, I had 2018, but like I said earlier in the video, I sold that. Uh, so I replaced it with that, um, FS65. Um, the next bus is, uh, 23, and this is my 2013 model year HDX that I've had for quite a while. Um, so nothing new with that. Uh, next bus is 24. That's one of my, uh, ER models. Um, and I, I call it an ER because that's what the bottom says. I guess if you want to be technical, it's really an HD, but they do not put HD on the base. So, I, you know, I got criticized one time for calling them ERs, so, you know, it, yeah. Uh, the next one is, uh, 25, um, this one is also an ER, HD, whatever you want to call it, um, and you'll notice on these two models that they have the thicker lights, uh, the lights on the HDX models, um, or at least the more recent HDX models are not thick like that. If you go to the HDX model before the, um, revision of the model, um, the, it's also got the thicker lights, um, and what I mean by revision is this particular HDX has the older style rear end that the ER HD models have, um, so at some point they decided, eh, let's change it and let's give the, let's make the lights thinner. Uh, a new model to the collection and to the update is the transit liner so I did a video on the transit liner I'm not gonna really spend too much time on it now uh, but I will card it if you want to go watch it um, I was really excited to finally get one of these because it was one of the buses that I didn't have and I didn't take my opportunity when I had it to get one off of the Thomas website before they were um, discontinued so now I've got one and I was able to find one with its original box so I was pretty excited about that uh, but yeah, that's the transit liner. Uh, the next bus is the um, Yellow Roof ER. Let me tell you, I have had quite a few of these. I only have one now, but like I had, I've had at least three Yellow Roofs like this. Mine has a um, defect where it's only got the Thomas logo on one side of the roof. But um, so when I see those and they're actually reasonably priced, I'll just buy them. Because I know I can usually resell them um, and make that money back. But, you know, I, I love this model because it's a yellow roof and it's a transit and it's an ER. And, I don't know, it's just a good model. I really like this model. I didn't letter this model because it's it's got, like, the factory defect and plus it's my only one. I used to have one a while back that I had numbered um, as bus 5 or 96-5. But, um, I sold that a few years ago to Cameron, so he's got it now. But, uh, this is my current one, and, um, yeah. So, the next model is my Dinky Wayne. Of course, it's not really numbered at all. But, I, I include it in this video because it's about that size. So, when I call this a fleet, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that everything in it is lettered and numbered. 
it just means that this is the fleet of this scale of bus. Um, so that's the Dinky Wayne. Uh, the next few models are the International Pro Mill models. We got the uh, 3000 series uh, bus, and then I've got two of the S series bus. Um, and then we've got the uh, 4000 series promo truck that I always try to include in these videos. So these buses are not actually numbered, but they still exist, and I am consider them, considering them a part of the fleet. So if you add these into the total of buses that are in this video, you've got 8 more, so that makes 60. So that means I've got 61 to 53rd scale buses. But these are not numbered, um, because... I like to have, I wanted to have some of these as originals, just because of the way they look, it, it, for me at least, it's a nostalgic feeling, because my collection, at some point or another, always had one of these in it, and it always looked like this before I actually took the lettering off and would number them and letter them myself, but, you know, it's it's just a nostalgia thing for me, so I've, I've kept three of these how they should be, and so far I've only modified one of these, but... Yeah, I wanted to include these since they are technically a part of the fleet. Alright, so that's going to be it for this year's 153rd scale update. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I know you guys enjoy it. Um, you guys always enjoy seeing these videos. And, I mean, the one I did almost four years ago just, I mean, it shows how many people actually like watching these. Um, because it's got over 2 million views. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Here it is, 2022 bus update, or bus 1 to 53rd scale fleet update, rather. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, there were plenty of new additions and things to talk about, um, and I'm sure that it'll be the same exactly next year. So uh, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think, and yeah.